And here we're now looking at the third period. On the left side of the periodic table, we start with sodium, magnesium, then of course we have the transition elements, and then on the right side of that, we have the representative elements, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine. Of course, we're ignoring the noble gases. Now, notice that in the, in the third period, we have the inner portion of what we would call the neon elements. We have neon has 10 protons in the nucleus and 10 electrons around it. Of course, when we go to sodium, we have an 11 proton and one more electron, which has no room in the second energy level, which now must reside in the third energy level. Since the inner 10 electrons screen the nucleus for the 11 electron, there's not as much of a force of attraction between the 11 protons in the nucleus and that 11 electron, and so therefore that electron resides quite a bit away from the nucleus, forming a fairly large atom, and the radius there is 186 picometers, which is almost four times the Bohr radius, so it's a large atom. Then if we go to the next element, magnesium, notice it has one extra charge in the nucleus, so there's a stronger uh, force attracting now the two extra electrons. Notice the screening effect for magnesium is the same as it is for sodium because it has the same 10 electrons around the nucleus in the first and the second energy level. And so therefore, since there's no additional screening but a little bit more positive charge, the electrons in the third energy level get pulled a little bit closer in forming a smaller atom. Moving over then to aluminum, which is uh, the first element on the, uh, on the right side of the um, transition element. So this is the first representative element in the period three. We find now there's three positive charges, three electrons, again the same effect. The screening of the 10 electrons is the same as it is, was, was for sodium and magnesium, and therefore the force of attraction a little bit more, and so the atom gets smaller. And the the uh, same thing happens for silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine. There's more and more positive charge in the nucleus, no additional screening, so therefore a stronger force of attraction, and the atoms get smaller and smaller and smaller as you go to the right in the third period. Do notice that over here we use the radii for the metallic radii. Here we use the covalent radii, which is more appropriate for those elements. So there you can see again that you see a tendency from large on the left to small on the right due to the increase in the positive charge in the nucleus, no change in the effect of the screening of the 10 innermost electrons, and as there's more and more positive charge in the nucleus, there's more and more attraction to the outer electrons pulling them closer and closer and closer to the nucleus, forming smaller and smaller and smaller atoms as you go to the right.